All right, so American tech giant OpenAI has launched a new tool that's never been seen in the realm of AI till now. Now, it's so unique that it is going to change the way completely the way you're using computers these days. You've heard of AI agents, I'm sure, right? And if you don't know what AI agents are, you can go and check out this video, which I've done on an explainer about AI agents, just for your basic information. Now, subsequently, OpenAI has launched a tool called Operator, and it's practically an AI agent which is different from existing AI models like ChatGPT and Gemini. But what does it do? So in this video, I'll talk about OpenAI's Operator, why it's important, how does it work, and when will you be able to use it, and some of the benefits and concerns around this new technology. Hey guys, I'm Cyrus, you're watching Fiber by India today, and this is OpenAI's Operator Explained. So the operator interface is similar to what you see on ChatGPT. However, it works a little differently. Now, let me explain. Imagine if you want to make hotel bookings or you're shopping online and you want to search for an item on the website. Here, what you need to do is just instruct operator what is exactly that you need from it and it will do everything for you on your computer. Now, from opening the browser to scrolling the mouse around the screen and even typing what exactly is needed, it will complete the entire operation without you having to intervene. And you'll see the end result happening on the screen itself. Yes, it will not be able to make payments unless it has been verified by the user. So, you know, everything is in order and you just click pay and you're done. Remember that more defined your requests are to operator, the more accurately the AI will be carrying out the task. And the best bit here is that you will be able to see everything happening on the screen real time so that you feel secure and it's not going wayward or away from the exact point that you want it to. The good thing is there is always an option to intervene so that humans have actual control. Now, the interesting bit here is that there is an inbuilt browser in operator so that you don't have to navigate to a third party platform. So all of the browsing can happen within the app itself. Now, the company demoed this feature recently and it looks quite promising and it will totally define the way we look at AI agents and how AI is operating right now. This can even work if you're looking to customize your search or if you want more items to be added to your shopping cart or whatever you're searching for online. Just mention the exact specific number to operator that these are the number of items I want to search and it will follow the instructions to the T. And since you do not want AI to be meddling with your payment details or any other financial transactions, all of the information such as credit card details, payment modes will be taken care of by humans. So AI will not intervene over there. Now, OpenAI says that operator's efficiency is about 84%, which is a good number considering that you will save up on a lot of time with some of these mundane tasks that you have to do on a daily basis. Now, this feature isn't available to use to everyone right now and OpenAI is saying that only a select number of users have been given access in the US. However, this feature will be rolled out very soon globally. Yes, some of the bugs and some of the inconsistencies, if they are spotted, they will be fixed and then phased out to all of the users because these are AI agents. They are dealing with complex data, human data. Therefore, all of these little bugs need to be taken care of. But I'm sure people are questioning how we'll be able to bypass the CAPTCHA that many of these platforms have on their websites right now. Now, CAPTCHA are basically security protocols to filter bots out of these online platforms where you remember have to solve these puzzles and prove to a machine that you're not a robot. So how will operator bypass these? Well, there is no clarity around that specific information, but OpenAI has partnered with specific shopping platforms that understand that operator is navigating their platform. So there is no need for that capture security protocol. But never could we imagine that such a tool could be developed at such a fast pace and a computer program that is efficiently running all of these tasks online is something that you can expect in a Hollywood movie right now, but not in reality. And yes, it is happening. So please, be ready for all of your tasks to be taken care of AI because I sure I'm excited. But the question is, can this be the next big thing in AI? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments section. I know a lot of conversation is happening around DeepSeek that has been launched in China. Although China hasn't developed any kind of an AI agent like operator, 
could be coming in the days to come but right now i'm exciting what operator can do and open ai has this lead in developing it, launching it as quickly as possible so that people get used to this ecosystem. I'd like to remind you that Sam Altman is scheduled to be a part of a high-level meeting in the US with some of the top US government top hats. So uh, yes, that is going to be interesting. It's going to decide the future of AI agents and also AGI. But operator, I'm definitely sure is going to be a part of the conversation and how consumers will be able to utilize this tool efficiently. And simultaneously, I'm sure they're going to be addressing a lot of these concerns because this will definitely affect the job market massively. I mean, if I have an AI agent doing everything for me, why do I need to hire humans? This sentiment kind of echoes around the global tech ecosystem where CEOs also agree that tech jobs will be affected by this. An operator, by the way, isn't just another cog in this wheel. It's bigger than you imagine. So uh, as we move towards the next evolution of AI and AI automation, I certainly am looking forward to operator and what it will be able to do. But you, what you can do is go into the comment section and tell us what you think about this AI tool and how it will radically change the face of AI right now. That's it for this video. Hope you liked it and I hope you understood the basics of operator. If you have any confusions, please let us know in the comment section and I'll be back with more tech right here on Fiverr. Take care.